What is good guys man, thank y'all for tuning back into the channel man If you're new, make sure you hit that sub button down below to be notified for every single video that I drop man Listen, as you can see by the title Why does God wake people up at dawn? You know, I be waking up around 3 o'clock man, every, almost every night You know what I'm saying? And I always feel in my heart to pray You know what I'm saying? But at the same time I be tired man So we about to really figure out why God really wakes up, wakes up, no, 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 wakes us up around three o'clock in the morning whatever the case may be man because i heard it has something to do with him wanting you to pray all right so without further ado let's just go ahead and jump into the video let's see what it's about have you ever found yourself waking up in the silence of the night with no idea why even though immersed in a deep and exhausted sleep, the sensation that something woke you up lingers, but certainty fades in the early morning. If this mystery has been part of your experience, relax, you're not alone in this nightly journey. In today's video, we'll unravel the intriguing reason behind these nocturnal awakenings, a revelation about what God has in store for those called in the stillness of the night. Before we delve into this divine enigma, please click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're about to enter a territory of mystery and profound meaning. As daylight bids farewell and the night sky takes control, we experience the sweetness of a good night's rest, whether as relief after a long day of work or surrender after a night disturbed by city noise. However, why does God sometimes interfere wakings in the midst of our well-deserved rest, knowing it's the only time we have to repose? We live in a spiritual world governed by two predominant forces, good and evil. Regardless of our beliefs, the spiritual realm completely overrides the physical realm. What we often forget is that while we're deeply asleep in our beds, the world continues to turn, immersed in a spiritual war. Have you ever wondered why most evil in the world occurs at night? Darkness is often associated with evil, and the devil chooses the night as the ideal time for his malicious activities going unnoticed. If God fully made us aware of the spiritual realities unfolding at night, Many of us would be vigilant, dedicating more time to prayer instead of easily falling asleep. Wow. In 1 John 5, 19, we are enlightened. We know that we are of God, and the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one. When God wakes you in the middle of the night, it's a call for you to pray, facing the evil forces gathering against you. In Matthew 13, 25, the Bible tells us that while men slept, the enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. In other words, during our periods of rest, the devil is actively plotting chaos and destruction in our lives. To confront this silence, God unexpectedly awakens us at night as a warning about what's happening in the invisible spiritual realm. While it may seem unexpected and unsettling, there's a reason for it. Just like the parable of the wheat and tares, God knows our enemy and is always seeking ways to protect and keep us safe. He understands our vulnerability and perceives when we're in danger. God watches the enemy's schemes, staying vigilant and present to ensure our safety while we sleep. The devil understands that at night we are more vulnerable. And Man, this is why, you know what I'm saying, like, you got to stay prayed up, man. You know, this is the reason why sometimes we have these bad dreams and whatnot, you know, um, that we may not understand, you know. Um, we could be walking with God, man, but the devil going to still try to start try to attack us, man. So we got to be consistent with prayer, man. Be consistent when trying to get to know God and whatnot, you know what I'm saying. Um, it's so much that I have to learn um, as being... Um, as trying to walk with God, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, this year and last year, man, I have really been trying harder and harder and harder, you know what I'm saying, to get closer and closer to God, to truly know His Word and truly know who He is and whatnot, um, you know what I'm saying, so, yeah, man, you know, 
prayer, man, before you go to sleep and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Just knowing God's words, especially when you get an attack, man, is very important, man. Able to pray or read the Bible as we sleep. He knows that a sleeping man is unaware of his surroundings. Right. So when the night falls and the world succumbs to sleep, that's when the enemy chooses to carry out his schemes. At that very moment, God calls us to vigilance, urging us to wake up and pray, because the best time to catch a thief is when he's about to commit the theft. When God awakens us to pray at night, it's precisely when the devil intensifies his efforts to lure us into sleep. Have you ever wondered why sleep seems more irresistible when the call is to pray? Let's remember the disciples of Jesus who fell into a deep sleep in the Garden of Gethsemane. Every time, like every time it's time to read that word or every time it's time to pray, it's I'm always getting sleepy, man, all the time. I've been wondering what it was, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing but the devil, man, trying to stop you, man. At the end of the day, ain't nothing but it. Before Jesus' arrest, it's no mere coincidence that drowsiness peaks when the need for prayer becomes urgent. If you were to wake up at the same time to check your phone or respond to a WhatsApp message, you probably wouldn't feel the same fatigue or right. drowsiness. Right. However, right. when it comes to praying, the devil employs every means to attack, enveloping you with an intense desire to sleep. His arms feel heavy and everything around whispers sweetly, trying to persuade you to stay in bed. He questions the importance of prayer, insinuating that it won't make a significant difference. He says, there's no need to interrupt your sleep, suggesting that leaving prayers for the morning is perfectly fine. But he's wrong. Whenever God wakes us up in the middle of the night, it's because he perceives that the enemy is launching attacks against us and he wants us to take control of the situation. Spiritual prayer emerges as a powerful antidote, empowering us to neutralize and dismantle the enemy's plans against us. The devil understands this power, which is why he sends waves of drowsiness enough to make us too comfortable to act. These are not mere coincidences. He recognizes that the effectiveness of prayer can thwart his plans against us. Waking up for prayer can become a challenging feat. However, those who respond to God's call are blessed with spiritual victory. The more persistent the sleep, the more effort is needed in our prayers. When you begin to pray, let your voice rise, accompanied by the determination flowing from within you. The enemy, upon sensing this fervent activity, will believe that his plans have been thwarted and your prayers and dreams exposed. The reality is that many people face numerous challenges in their daily lives and often overlook the realization that God can do much more for them. He may wake us up once or twice to pray because he wants to communicate with us in a unique mm. way a communication that often goes unnoticed when circumstances start to unravel. Many of us attribute challenges to the idea that the enemy is aware of our problems and weaknesses, taking advantage of them. However, this perception is often late, resulting from our lack of attention to take the necessary action when God invites us to this special encounter. Job 33 but 14 reminds us, for God may speak in one way or in another, yet man does not perceive it. Don't let ignorance harm your faith. Follow the impulse to rise at night. Pray carefully whenever you find victory over something. The enemy watches in secret, waiting for any stumble. Yes. In the Bible, we find the example of Peter, who was imprisoned, awaiting his execution. During the following night, an angel broke the chains of the prison and woke him from sleep. Peter, noticing the open doors, was intrigued as he did not immediately realize he had received a warning from the Lord. Quickly understanding that this was his only chance for freedom, Peter paid attention and followed the angel out of the prison. His obedience resulted in his release, avoiding a certain death. While many made excuses, claiming fatigue or lack of willingness to pray, Peter understood that obeying the Lord is more valuable than comfort. Instead of making excuses and staying so in bed, Peter got up, followed the angel, 
and found his freedom. Another striking example occurs in the life of the young Samuel when he was still a boy. God called him in the middle of the night while he was sleeping. Samuel answered the divine voice, demonstrating readiness and obedience. Samuel humbly replied, Speak, for your servant hears. At that moment, God opened up a world of wonderful possibilities for Samuel. If he had chosen laziness and opted to continue sleeping, he might never have risen to become the great man he became. Right. This story highlights that when God wakes us up at night to pray, we need to rely on our faith and obey his call. I ain't lying, man. And I try to preach that to my son, man. Like, no matter how tired you are, I don't care if you had a long day, at least pray to God, no matter how tired you is. If, that's, if the last thing you say is Jesus and you fall asleep, just pray, you know what I'm saying? That's one of the things that we got to learn how to be consistent with, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like exercising, you got to get that last rep in, you know what I'm saying, and you tired. But that last rep is going to give you some attributes, you know what I'm saying? So, man, you know, prayer is very important, man. See, people look over prayer as if it's not important, but this is how you talk to God, you know what I'm saying? And... We gotta have that connection with him. We gotta have a communication with him. You know, a lot of people look at that as weird. Like, is he really hearing me or whatever the case may be? But you have to believe in what you pray. I feel God. You know what I'm saying? And some people don't know too much about prayer, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's one of the things that I try to instill in my son, like, right now. You know what I'm saying? And, he, and he's doing it. So, that's a good thing. It doesn't imply that we must always stay awake all night in prayer. But if God inspires us, we should respond. It can be tempting to simply roll over in bed and go back to sleep when awakened at night, but it's crucial to take these moments seriously and listen carefully to what God may be trying to tell us. The importance of following his direction is evident. You might wonder why God sometimes chooses the night instead of the day to give us these nudges. The truth is that God can warn us at any time, whether day or night. During the day, we often get too distracted with our activities to hear God's voice and recognize spiritual dangers. Right. However, when we sleep and the devil begins to hatch his plans, God can open our eyes to see the truth better than ever. Even if it's just for a few minutes of prayer, this can make a huge difference in our lives and in the spiritual battle being waged against us. We must not forget that if we refuse to set aside time for God, we've already lost the battle. Yeah. It takes time, focus, and commitment. But when rising in the quiet of the night to connect with God becomes a habit, invisible spiritual battles can be won. You'll be amazed at how a few moments in God's presence each day can do for your spirit. Every time you wake up, talk to God first, even before grabbing your phone or chatting with a friend. Yeah, man. Because only He can ensure a safe life, mentally, physically, and spiritually. A person who dedicates an hour at night to pray is much more powerful than someone who spends the same amount of time during the day. It's no wonder Jesus spent entire nights in prayer, understanding the power behind prayers, even though this power is often hidden from our eyes. What rises against us cannot compare to the powerful and loving plans that God has for us. When we pray and rest in Him, He will take care of us at night, keeping our souls safe and protected. Therefore, if you find yourself awake in the middle of the night, know that God has something important to tell you, and he's simply waiting for you to listen. Thank you for watching. If you've stayed... Oh, man. Oh, man. Whenever you feel like a overwhelming feeling over, over, over you, over your spirit, I can't explain it, but it, sometimes you just get the feeling that you need to pray, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just get the feeling that you're out of place. You know, um, sometimes you just get the feeling that you're lost and and there's a disconnect, you know what I'm saying? And that disconnect is, is God, you know what I'm saying? So it's very important, man. This video is to educate y'all and to educate myself. It's a lot of things that I have learned, you know, and um, man, just hit that like button, comment down below what y'all want to see next. Now, as in my videos, I always say stay inspired, stay motivated, stay grounded. It's the next video. Out of here. Peace.